Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Cygnus Tech Macro Diffuser. Now before I get into the review of this specific diffuser, I want to just explain what a diffuser actually does if you're unfamiliar. Now if you watch all my other videos, you see that I use this sort of dome shaped thing on my flash and that's basically a diffuser if you didn't know what a diffuser is. This is the setup here. As you can see, it's got a flash and that's going into this dome here and then there's this white bit. Now if you've seen any of my macro images or just any macro images in general, you'll see that there's like reflections in the eyes of the subjects and that's basically this. And if that wasn't there, then it would be very harsh and tiny and it wouldn't look very soft. But essentially this piece stops the light from escaping, this black bit, and then the white bit is what projects onto the subject. And the bigger this is, usually the softer the light looks. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos or you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see that I've been using this for quite a while, this diffuser. And um, this is one that Brendan sent out to me recently because he's been seeing the uh, stuff I've been making on YouTube. But I do have my old one in my bag and I'll show you one of the good features about this diffuser. So it looks like it's not very portable. Like it looks like it'd be a pain to hang, you know, take around, but it actually, actually just fits straight into your bag like that. There's my old one. So it has two pieces and all you do is just clip it onto the end like that. And then once that's clipped on, you put that onto the flash and then that goes around the lens, that piece. So it only takes like a minute to set up at maximum. So setting it up, you get these bits here, put it through the rubber band. And this is probably the hardest bit, just because the rubber band is quite tight. But yeah, that's on, that's quite quick. And then I'm gonna tighten that to make it more domey. And then the white part, you just put it over the front of your lens. And you'll probably need a um, extension ring. I think Brendan usually gives you one when you buy one. And then that's it, it's on. Simple as that really. And then another feature to mention is um, you can slide it back just by pulling the string and you see it's pointing downwards now. So that's a lot better for when you're doing high magnification shots. It's um, especially good when you use the Rainox. Because when you're getting proper magnified, your subject is literally like right in front of your lens and you want the light pointing more downwards. Whereas if you have it in a standard position, a lot of that light will be bouncing more forward rather than downwards. Now the whole purpose of a diffuser is to diffuse the light coming from the flash. The flash on its own will look really harsh. So I will show you a before and after of using just the flash and then using the diffuser. I've got a, um, a test subject here, I've just got a mayfly. I'll take this without the Rainox on, I'll put it on the little side thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna take both of these images at the same settings. So you can have a fair test and see what the difference is. All right, the diffuser's off. And as you can see, it just looks a lot worse. All the water droplets on the Mayfly don't look as diffused and um, that ultimately just makes the picture look worse. So that is the whole point of the diffuser. But yeah, what drew me to buying this one um, a couple of years ago was just the fact that you can just plug and play. You can just put it in your bag, um, take it out, set it up in less than a minute. Obviously I don't really take it off much, but when I'm traveling, like I went on holiday recently, and I can't really just leave it like this. You know, I've got a packet flat and yeah, I could just put it in my bag and then when I get to a new location, just unpack it. And then when I'm ready to go, pack it back up. So I've got a lot of comments asking where you get this diffuser from. And um, it's a guy called Brendan James on Instagram. He goes by the username Cygnus Tech. Um, and all you have to do is send him a DM and then uh, say what, camera body you use, uh, lens, and what flash you use, and then he will do all the measurements and work out what diffuser will fit onto your camera. 
if you watch my um, why I switch from Canon to Olympus video, you'll see that I actually had a Sigma Tech Diffuser on my old Canon setup. That was my first one I used for about a year-ish before I switched to Olympus. And then when I switched to Olympus, I was trying to use that diffuser on this new setup, but it didn't fit because obviously the flash is smaller, uh, the lens is smaller and yeah, it didn't really work. I tried sellotaping it, but it was just a bit of a hassle. So I ended up buying one for my new setup. And this one is a lot better, I'd say. He's definitely improved over the past two years I've um, been following him. Yeah, this one, as you can see, there's like no gaps at all really, apart from there. So there's barely any light that escapes. And the problem with um, the early versions, or at least the one that I got a couple years back, was that he didn't make the, the black bit big enough and quite a lot of light was escaping. And um, you need as much light when you're doing macro um, to get good shots. And when you're losing light, it's a bit of a problem. But yeah, over the past two years I've been following him, he's um, definitely improved on his product. And um, yeah, he's trying to innovate. Um, this is sort of a bit of a prototype that he's sent me. Um, it's not quite ready for public release yet, but he's started making these sort of um, Rainox holders, which is pretty handy. So I can just clip it onto there and it stays on there. And then I can just take it off, put it straight onto my lens which is very quick and handy. And he also has like a few different colorways. So there's like normal black, which is my old one. Then there's like this carbon fiber looking one. And then there's like a camouflage one, I think. Yeah, if you're into aesthetics of cameras. So if you buy one of these and you take photos and you notice that it's not getting good results, it's not just because of the actual diffuser. This is not gonna just solve all your problems. You do have to use the right settings and know how to use it. And the good thing about um, Cygnus Deck is that when you buy one, um, he actually provides a PDF kind of giving you all the settings that are best um, optimized for this diffuser. And when I bought my first one a couple years back, I was like sort of new to macro photography. I was kind of just learning as I progressed myself. And um, yeah, that sort of changed my whole process of macro photography from that point on. It made me kind of understand lighting a lot better and camera settings. So yeah, if you are sort of unsure um, on what settings to use for macro, yeah, he will kind of set you up and let you know what settings are best. I'll put some images on screen now of the uh, photos I took a couple years back when I got my first ever diffuser. Now as you can see these images aren't necessarily bad but um, they could have been a lot better if the uh, black part of the diffuser was a lot bigger. One example is the uh, B picture. Um, if you look in the eyes the highlight is right towards the top. It's not really filling the whole eye and if the diffuser was a bit bigger then it would cover more of the subject. But now I'll put some images on screen of uh, my new diffuser and right away you can see that the highlights in the eyes are a lot less visible. Uh, there's a lot less hot spots and this is probably because the diffuser is a lot bigger and price wise I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around 100 great British pounds. And he also has different models. So he has like a beginner model uh, with just the basic kind of dome and diffusion part. Then he has like a, uh, a pro version where you get like a light, which you can have inside the flash. So when you're doing shots in the dark, you can see what you're focusing on when you're using the diffuser. So yeah, I think that's everything covered in this video. Um, I'd highly recommend getting this diffuser. It's just easy to use, works well. Yeah, so if you want to buy this, I'll leave a link in the description to Brendan's Instagram where you can send him a DM and then he'll sort you out from there on. That's it for today's video. So um, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.